Hey guys, today we're going to be today I'm going to be showing off everything I got for Christmas. So one thing I got is on here was a micro USB and a micro USB adapter for things that's still quite normal. Not micro USB, but micro SD card and a micro SD card adapter for those things that don't support SD, micro SD cards. Let's say like a 3DS would support an old SD card, but whatever. Those those that 3DS. So what did I do? With yours? Crap! Why is it on the floor? Whatever. So today I got a. I also got a game for my Game Boy Advance SP. You can see SP. It was Sonic Advanced 2. I don't know if that's backwards or not, but on the video it shows it to be backwards when I'm recording it. Yeah. But so why is there a bunch of oh this is dumb in it. I don't know why it's just put it in the bag. But, like, you know, Sonic Advance 2. So, I'm going to be showing off my, the games that I've gotten via a tier list. So, let me just make that tier list. So first off, we got Nang Namkai Bank Namkai Mu Namco. Why am I saying Namkai? Whatever Namco Namco Museum Arcade Pack. Now, if you're wondering, well, I have the same game. She said the box art is different. No, I did not get it from Europe. Boom. The next game on the list is Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD. My problem with this game is that it was released, well, it was supposed to be, it was originally released as a, what was I going to say? It was originally released as a, I can't remember. Oh yeah, it was originally released as a Wii game. Uh, Namkai Museum was, well, a, you know, a bunch of releases, well, an evolution between the games. Next, we got Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Games like this, when you open them, there's nothing inside except for something like this. Actually, all my, um, Activision games, I'm pretty sure I had something inside of them. Like that same little message, but not like the little card. <clears throat> Next, well, the first two games were kind of like, Name Kind Museum, my favorite game on there really isn't a part of the museum. It's just, um, it's Pac-Man Championship Edition 2 Plus. And that isn't even a part of the game select menu. It's like... You got, you got first in between. Uh, so in this area, you got the, the Namco Museum. The other side, you got the, um, the Pac-Man Championships Edition 2+. Plus. But when you pick the museum, it shows a bunch of old games, including Pac-Man Versus, which the only version of Pac-Man Versus I've played is... was in I can't remember it was in Dave and Buster's I I'm just forgetting everything if I had a script which I have no problem why, why I'm not having a script but whatever um the Namco Museum wait the game was just kind of bland 
My favorite thing about it was the game that wasn't really meant to be about it, but whatever. Pac-Man versus I first played it at David Buster's. I don't know where, how I got off topic to that. But either way, I love that game. It was fun. Like, you played as a bunch of different Pac-Mans, but when I played it on that, you're like... It might be the original version, but I was like, what? I remember playing these different Pac-Mans. Not a bunch of ghosts. That's why I didn't like that game. Well, you know, because of how little the game for that I cared about. Once you bought Blitz, the only reason why I didn't like that game is because it was kind of small lacking. I played the, the second game on the GameCube. Not like... Not like there's a sequel to that game, no, like Monkey Ball, Super Monkey Ball 2. But that's Banana Blitz HD. Um, the only thing, I feel like the only thing that they updated from the Wii version is kind of, is barely much from the character's graphics. Very little of games, and I'm pretty sure... Other than that, probably the gameplay style. This already ripped a little bit, whatever. And the fact that, you know, the menu completely changed. And I prefer the newer menu. But it could have been on so many other games without much of an effect. So, yeah. Spyro, it's just because the game, I've, I've played it, it's quite hard. So it doesn't go on the top list. Crash Nitro Fueled. Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Is it weird how the next game I'm talking about came out the same month and same day? I'm pretty sure same day, I just know the same month. And it has a very similar title. But here's the thing. The game that, that, that I'm about to talk to is technically a sequel to an old game. Which I'll tell you more about the game later on. Which this game is an HD remake of a game. That came out in 1997. The other game came out in like 1996 or 1997. Not 7, but 5. But either way, Nitro Fueled is a pretty good game. We don't. We only have two other things left. For it, but the only reason why I choose this, choose this game as third place is because the game is quite fun. It's just that I can't drift. I'm not saying that there's a problem with the game. It's just that how they made the drifting mechanic. Like, if you... I'm saying I can drift, it's just that, like, so many other games, like, say, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, or in general, the Mario Kart series, if you were to drift, you'd get a boost, like, zoom. But this game, you have to, there's, like, a little bar, and you have to get to the very end of the bar, well, depending on which bar you chose, like, I'm talking about this bar, or however it goes. I don't think you chose it, but it's, like, a ramp bar type looking thing, and if you go to... You have to reach the very um, end line, or the little smaller lines in between, I don't know, to get a perfect boost, which I have never accessed. Either way, I need to use the bathroom. So next up, uh, oh yeah, you're probably wondering why I put this like that. It's because there's a slinky under this. And you know, wonder it's like if you just to put it on something and you know, there's just like, a couple gaps in between. I wanted to make it perfect, so I put it on something heavy. I'm gonna rotate it. And for some reason, it didn't do much of a job. The TV isn't even that heavy, so it makes sense. So then I'm just gonna put this in. Oh yeah, I might start playing Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy or Nitro Field next. Or maybe all of these games, I don't know. It's the, the the very final game I don't want to play on the channel because I'm already pretty much halfway through the game. And I don't want to just, you know, just restart halfway through the game just to be able to um show you guys. And it's like, I've already gotten halfway through the game. I had no plans on, you know, playing the game for the channel because, like, I just didn't want to because... I was gonna say I'm halfway through the game the game is quite long it's pretty hard and I didn't want to just you be like I'm just gonna play through the entire game on on a different save file yes there are other save files but I don't care 
Team Sonic Racing. It's based after Sonic R. The R has the same type of font as Sonic R. There is no team, but still Sonic R. That's what this game is. Either a sequel or a HD remake, which I see. Not, nothing in the game from the original game other than the racing aspect. The characters, which barely have the characters were in the original game. And the title without team. But still... This game, I just loved it because of, you know, how you can customize your vehicle. So, while in T Crash Team Racing Nitro Field, all you can do is change your vehicle. You can't really do, you know, like, customize your vehicle. Now, sure, Mario Kart lets you do the same thing, and pretty much it's the same thing. Bodies, wheels. What was the last one? Yeah, that was the last one. Oh, yeah, in the front of the vehicle instead of a glider. So, yeah. It's just that I love this game because it's so fun. It's just a good game to play. The last game, many many YouTubers could see why I picked this as my number one favorite game. Luigi's Mansion 3. I'm just going to put this game in. We've reached 11 minutes. I don't want to make this game too much longer. The only reason why, I why Luigi's Mansion is my number one game is because it's so satisfying just the beat goes up like what pow what pow what pow you know just slamming them on the floor dealing damage to them it's just so fun maybe some would say satisfying i don't know if it's satisfying for me it's just that beating them up is kind of fun the game is hard though bosses are difficult and i've already killed polter polter kitty once and i don't want to go on to twice well, you have to kill her three times, but I've only done her once, so yeah. The game's just fun. I can't say anything else. We're at, we're at 12 minutes. I just want to use the bathroom. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. I didn't think this video would get reached that long. So, bye!